The movie begins with a girl named Su Ah who is taken and placed in a psychiatric ward. While she is imprisoned, she is abused and exposed to distress by her captors who continuously give her medication. We then meet Nan Nam Su, who is a programming director and runs an investigation television show. He is caught up in a scandal and this jeopardizes his show showing that it is a scam. This results in his company leaving him as a sitting duck and terminating his position. One year later Nam Su is approached by the same television station where he was dismissed from the previously, they tell him they want him to be part of a show which looks into ghosts and haunted locations. While looking for a haunted places, he comes across a notebook written by Su Ah describing the gruesome details of a psychiatric hospital that burned down. He is determined to visit the hospital as his first lead and uncover what happened so he can put it in his new show. Nam Su and his crew visit the hospital site the next day. While recording the video, they add some fake ghosts and jump scares to entertain the audience. Suddenly, they are surprised by an unknown man who grabs the camera but then collapses on the floor. To their horror, the crew discover the man's complete body is burned and they take him to a hospital. Nam Su spots the tattoo on the man's wrist and remembers seeing the same drawing in Su Ah's notebook. He reads the diary again and discovers the burned man was a nurse named Dong Shik who used to work in the mental hospital, he also assisted Na Nam Su there. Later, Nam Su interrogates Dong Shik about the diary, but he gets very anxious and his heart rate goes into overdrive. Next, Nam Su speaks to Detective Park and informs him that he is still conducting an investigation and confirms that Dong Shik formerly worked at the psychiatric ward as a nurse, but he does not know why the hospital to burn down. There is little to no information on the internet regarding the fire. Interestingly on the same day as the fire, another police officer called Kang byung Yo was shot by his daughter, this incident created great chaos in the city. Nam Su starts his own investigation online and contacts numerous authorities to understand more about the situation. He soon learns that byung Yo is Su Ah's father, she was accused and immediately arrested for her father's death resulting in her placement in a correctional facility as she has been declared psychotic and her trial is still ongoing. Nam Su visits her in the correctional facility and tries to interact with her but she does not respond. He returns and tries again to question her about what happened at the mental hospital and why she killed her father. She starts by denying all the allegations, but as they continue to talk, she eventually agrees to elaborate and tell the full story of what truly happened. In the next scene, we are taken one year in the past, when Su Ah was kidnapped in the middle of town. She is held captive in the mental hospital unaware of anything. Later the hospital director Jang Hyong Sheik speaks to her telling her she is crazy and was brought to the facility to be treated, Su Ah tries to plead with him saying she is not crazy and asks to leave, this is when the nurses brutally beat her and forces her to take different medications. The next day Dong Sheik enters her room to administer her medication, she tries to reason with him again and tells him that she is not insane and wants to go home. Strangely, Dong Sheik tells her that he knows she is not insane but he can't do anything about her situation. She writes down a number and begs him to call and inform them of her location. Dong Sheik refuses her request and another nurse comes along sees their interaction and forces the medication down Su Ah's throat. Later the director Hyong Sheik arrives and warns Su Ah that if she disobeys and doesn't take her medication she will stay ill and not recover, he then decides to increase her dosage. We are then taken to the present, Nam Su investigates and gathers more information, he learns that Jang Hyong Sheik and Byung Yo was close friends. Nam Su looks through the hospital records and discovers no patient was ever recorded with the name of Su Ah on the register. Nam Su discovers that Byung Yo is Su Ah's stepfather and shortly before her mother's passing, all of the property was transferred into Byung Yo's name. There were several allegations about the mental hospital, but because of the status Byung Yo held as chief police officer he always covered it up and defended the facility. We then see Nam Su talking to his assistant and asks her to investigate who filed the complaints against the hospital, she meets with a woman who claims her husband was diagnosed at that facility and became gravely ill after a few days being released and when they reached the hospital, they discovered his kidney was removed. Nam Su goes back to visit Su Ah and asks her if she knows if they removed organs at the mental facility, strangely, she tells him that no one ever returns when they are taken away to the operating room. In the next scene, we are taken back to the past, where we see director Hyong Sheik talking advantage of one of the patients. Meanwhile, Su Ah is seen in awful state, 
Her health is deteriorating she asks one of the other patients to help her escape and as compensation, he asks her to touch him for the information. He tells her there is an escape route in the director's office and gives her a password. Sue Ah touches him but suddenly, she slashes him open with a knife, she then walks toward to the director's office. The other nurses are occupied trying to save the patient's life and Sue Ah manages to open up the director's office and escape through the tunnel. When director Hyung discovers her missing, he orders his men to find her immediately. She manages to get away and luckily for her, she finds two female cops and gets into the back of the police car. She breathes a sigh of relief and thinks that she is safe now. To her horror, she is taken back to the mental hospital and dragged back in by the nurses. Next, we see Nam Su speaking to his boss asking him if they can run the story. He thinks it will be very successful if the truth is revealed. Nam Su then goes back to meet Su Ah and tries to discuss her father. She keeps on saying her father died when she was a young child. He tries to discuss Byung Yo's death with her. She tells him that she doesn't know him. Nam Su decides to go back to see Dong Sheik at the hospital only to discover he has escaped. Nam Su decides to go back to meet Su Ah again. She refuses to see him this frustrates him and he is unsure of what to do next. He decides to still do the show and reveals what he has uncovered. He begins by telling the audience that under duress, Su Ah was placed in a mental hospital by her stepfather and she was abused for months. This show grabs the public attention and many reporters try to meet Su Ah and get an interview. She refuses and says she will only meet with Nam Su and reveal everything that happened. In the next scene, we are taken back to the past and Dong Sheik discovers files that show the hospital is part of organ smuggling. He decides to call the number Su Ah wrote down for him, he learns the person on the other side is Su Ah's boyfriend who has been trying to find her. Everything seems to lead to a dead end, even when he goes to the police to report her missing, nothing happens. Dong Sheik gives him the pin location to where Su Ah is being kept and tells him he needs to hurry and help Su Ah escape. When Li Wujin arrives Dong Sheik helps him to sneak into the premises. Su Ah is prepped for surgery ready for her organs to be harvested. Luckily, Wujin arrives just in time and saves her. When they try to escape through the corridor, they run into director Hyong Sheik and the nurses are called to take them back into the operating room. We then see the nurses cut open Wujin and begin to harvest his organs. We then see another mentally ill patient who is busy playing with fire by lighting candles in the director's office. Suddenly, the whole facility catches on fire and everyone running for their lives. Su Ah takes advantage of the situation and asks one of the patients to untie them. They escape but the director somehow drags Wujin into the fire and he dies. In the present, Nam Su asks Su Ah if she killed her stepfather but once again she denies it, claiming her father used to hit and mistreat her and her mother took advantage of her several times. When she finally escaped the mental facility, she found her father already dead in their home. Nam Su then broadcasts the next part of the story saying that Su Ah was abused and treated badly by her stepfather, he was responsible for her being admitted to the mental hospital where she was tortured and beaten for months, he goes on to say that Byung Yo was a heavy drug addict and his substance abuse lead up to his own suicide. The story once again gets a lot of public attention and the court determines that there is no real evidence against her, she is innocent and they must release her. Nam Su goes and fetches her at the correctional facility. Before Su Ah leaves to go inside her home she gives Nam Su a diary and tells him that patients are not allowed to carry any sharp objects or even pens onto the premises. This causes Nam Su to have a flashback of the events that really happened. That's when it is revealed it was actually Su Ah's mother that was admitted to a mental facility and not Su Ah. Her explanations of what had happened were based on her mother's experiences, Su Ah tried to contact the police and seek help in finding her mother, but was ignored by everyone. Her mother gave the nurse Su Ah's number to call. Unfortunately, her mother did not survive the fire and passed away there. Su Ah went back home and shot her stepfather taking revenge for her mother. Su Ah wrote and sent the diary to the news channels so that the events could be investigated further and to be proven innocent. The movie concludes with Nam Su learning the truth and Su Ah realizes her plan was successful and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.